men's five pin competition begins with Pete Brown out of Bridgetown, Ontario. That's about an hour west of London, Ontario. And Wally Bridget from Sherwood Park, Alberta. And Sherwood Park being just outside of uh, Edmonton. There we go, Neil. Pete sets up. No frills delivery. Pretty straight ball. Three steps. Big, big shoulder turn. Opens those shoulders right up as the arm swing goes back. Key is then to get them back square. Exactly. Get the square at the line. Here's your favorite shot so far in their competition. Unbelievable. Everybody's taking a simple shot and making it look difficult. And he opens up with a 15. Both bowlers in their first appearance in the pins game. Wally Bridget. All right. Unfortunate break in the first frame, leaving both corner pins. And now he needs to pick both corner pins to carry the frame. Well done. Playing for $50 a frame. on the corner pins. Great shot. Back up that good corner picking with a strike to lead off the second frame. Pete Brown requires a strike to match up. And so the first two frames will go to Wally Bridget. Cover on the spare. A couple of uh, first-timers to the pins game will get us going here on the third week of men's five-pin play. Pete Brown from Ridgetown, Ontario. That's an hour west of London. Picks up the strike in the third. Against Wally Bridget from Sherwood Park, Alberta, just outside of Edmonton. And it's uh, Wally Bridget who has the first two frames. Needing to match up the strike now. Oh, tough break there. Ball buries behind the right corner. Pete Brown picks up his first frame. Wally now did a good job on covering the aces that he left in the first frame on this lane. Got him for 15. And he's the, what should be routine spare. He's had no problem with the corner so far. Pete Brown missed a corner though in that 15 he scored in the first. He got a frame and that allowed Wally to cause the frame to carry over and ultimately win it. There he goes over on the left side of the pocket quickly now. Good a strike to lead off four. Short backswing, easy follow through. Perfect shot in the left pocket for his delivery. He misses on the left side. You're, when we first saw his delivery, he said just wide open shoulders. You know, just as he gets up to the line, he starts to open up that shoulder, even starts with the right shoulder a little down. But then at the finish, brings it together. He is square with a foul line at the finish when he delivers the ball with the right timing. So it costs him a frame to open up with the spare there. Only Bridget back quickly up. Three frames to one. Good shot here. Opens it up. Big backswing. Good follow through onto the right side of the head pin. The strike result now needing to match up. And Bridget. 
missiles on the left side. Trails by a single frame. Nose is his second shot. Perfect so far has not left a stick on the lane. Use this last shot for a little practice. Ooh. Okay. That's the danger of that chop off. You know, if you ever do it on the first ball, the danger part, just cherrying out that three pin on the second one, picking it clean. So he stops a short-lived run, strike, square, strike, opens on either side of that. Tries to get it started again, a good-looking shot. Well done, very relaxed delivery. Very easy to try to repeat this, no frills attached on the, on the uh, approach or anything. Three steps, throws a light backup ball. Punches the uh, head pin. He's the uh, manager of the Ridgetown Bowl. That uh, head pin means that Wally Bridget picks up the frame in the sixth. Good job to cover the left side. Final attempt in the sixth frame. Just the 15 count, 45 through 6. So, rolling reasonably well. On the middle, in the first, the third, the fifth, suddenly now in the sixth, and now gets the lead off the seventh. So, here's the lane he's had the success on. Full hit, leaves the right corner. Had difficulty with his right corner shot before. Goes in quite thick. Just topples the three pin over. No action on it. Back in the first. He had problems with this and has problems with him again. It kicked off the pit. Judge play Frank Clark ruling that that pin will go back up. Thank her for her vigilance. And off to the side. You see it rebound back into the playing area. Pin gets re-racked down. One shot to come in the right corner haunting Pete Brown. Manages to get it for the 15. And that's back to back opens now for Pete and another chance for Wally Bridget to pick up the frame. Off the park on this, off to the left. No real damage done yet. Needs to recover for the spare to win the frame. Nicely done. Takes up the spare. Another frame. So he's up 5-2. Exactly. This is a great shot for that spare. Get that five frames. First guy to five. Huge advantage. Only three remain. Pin on the left side on this one. Tracks around, leaves the left corner. But with a spare here, forces Pete Brown to strike to win the frame. Sets up to the right side of the approach, delivers it across the lane, and papers. Hello. Yep. While these uh, both bowlers are new to the pins game, they have competed internationally. National brother. Wally has competed in the uh, team championships representing Alberta. Pete has also competed back in his youth bowling days in the national championships. So pinfall is close. Pete needs to sneak some frames back though. He's got to go there. Be perfect on the rest of these to just carry this one. And it goes back to what you said. Now, I mean, Granted, Wally had a chance to spare. He missed the corner, but getting the 15 and now seeing what's happened here, if uh, Pete can't get the right side, he picks up the money and puts himself through. Exactly, but had he picked up the spare like he should have, he'd, he'd have been through, through already. already. Yeah. And we're going to carry over. 
so Pete Brown manages to hang on, cause a carryover frame. But look at that, that's three opens, three 15s in a row for Brown, six, seven, and eight. Missed the score spare in seven, head pins in six and eight. Does he get a break now? No, it's that tough. right corner again now. That's tough. Here's the one. Back in the first, he misses this. He misses it in the seventh the last time out. Goes full at it again. The three pin just dies into the right corner, and he's going to have to shoot it. No mistake this time. So, an, an opportunity now for Wally Bridget to put himself through. And that will do it. Is that ever nice? Very smooth shot. Just let that one go at the right time. Good balance at the finish. Stayed low with the shot. Got the great strike to set up the match, giving up seven right now. And now we'll just close out the frames. Oh, oh. Nope. Wow, that was a good shot. You should have got that one. Covered the right corner back in the third frame. For the spare. Pin count in the tenth frame determines who picks up that final money. So right now Wally with 15 points plus this shot to come. Whatever the count is on this ball is the standard that he will set for Pete Brown. Looks like 20. So a 236 game for Wally Bridget from Sherwood Park, Alberta. However, he will advance. strike. No way that he loses this last frame now. He's got 15 points plus two attempts to try to score five points. First attempt he matches, so if the bowlers remain tied here, they'd split the money. Any pin now. There's no way he's putting it through. He's getting something. Good call to get to his $50. And so Pete Brown will take home $150, but congratulations to Wally Bridget. Holds a $236, wins $350, and he'll move on now. When we come back, Michael Squires, Garth Bauer, are up next on the Pins game.